Hello everyone, Demi here back with some more movies and game media. Today guys, we're actually going to be talking about Spider-Man No Way Home. Now, before we get into this video, please be sure to leave a like on this video. Also, subscribe if you're new. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you guys can be updated on more movies and game media. And do not worry, you guys, it's going to be a non-spoiler so you guys can go actually watch this film. Now, it's going to be out in theaters so you don't have to worry about it. But let's start with the great things that I have to say about this film. I do have some negatives. Let's just talk about it. The action scenes was literally spectacular. I was so enthralled in this, especially the Doctor Strange versus Spider-Man fight scene. I think that was literally spectacular. And also the bridge fight. I think that was both of my two favorite action scenes and set pieces. They did a phenomenal job with the VFX in those scenes. Another great thing is the Scooby-Doo game. Yes, it was actually teased that we go have a Scooby-Doo game. It's just really Spider-Man, Ned, and also MJ. But yeah, I think they just work well together, especially MJ and Peter Parker. And and when you see it, I think you're going to like this duo, well, trio that has formed from the last film. I think it's really, really great. Now let's get into the villains. I actually think that the villains was literally great. Well, actually two out of five was really great. Alpha Molina has returned also William Defoe and other villains have returned for this film from other franchises for other spider-man franchises and i think they was great well Alfred molina and william defoe was actually tremendous in this film i think they really was terrifying it really made me feel terrified like i was as a kid with green goblin because he was that menacing in this film he was just really great and i love doc ock in this film now let's also talk about dr strange i personally didn't like him in his own solo film however in this film he just came across great and also in i guess i can talk about this because it's part of the mcu in the what if series he came across great as well but again that's a different version of that character but um yeah he was just super great i actually agree with everything he had to say in this film everything he had to say and he was just right in my opinion um and also lastly what i have to say that is in support of this film is finally an introduction to the real spider-man but let's get into all the negatives that i have to say about it um i have to complain about this because it's really disturbed me in his first introduction into his own film on how he was so reliant on Iron Man, I hated it. I really do hate it. How his suit is just 100% Iron Man. And it was a line that I rewatched um, in the film, well, Spider Man Homecoming, that was like, um, You're supposed to be nothing without your suit, or something like that, that Tony Stark said. And I find it ironic because he's actually nothing without his suit. So um, it was actually weird. I don't know. I don't know why they put that in that film. But anyway, going back to this film. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm actually disappointed that he was actually robbed of his own agency in these films. And also, the villains, all his villains so far, it's not a result because of him. It's not a result because of Peter Parker. It's literally a result of Tony Stark. From the first film, it was Vulture, Tony Stark, who he had beef with. Tony Stark, and he took it out on Peter Parker. Who did Mysterio have beef with? Tony Stark, who did he take it out on? Peter Parker. You see what I'm saying? And even this film is really not his villains. So I was like, um, yeah, I, I really didn't like that. He just have don't have his own agency in none of these films. And I'm that in the future films that already been confirmed that he has his own agency and his own villains that actually have a part with him, not other people. Um, and he also get rid of the Tony Tech. Uh, but moving on. Three out of five villains I really didn't like. I felt like they were just out of character, um, especially because I just rewatched those films. Um, for me, actually, Sandman and Electro was probably the two most out of characters that I seen in this film. I was like, they're not like this in their other films. So I was like, okay, maybe they didn't watch rewatch it. I'm just gonna chop it up to that that they didn't rewatch the films. Um, but hey, I don't know. Finally, again, this is my last negative for the film, is that the comedy. If you guys are new to my channel, you guys now know that I really do not like the MCU comedy. It's not funny to me. It's 
pretty repetitive in my opinion again in my opinion um i know some people may disagree but it's feel like snl to me um sometimes it's funny sometimes it's not but yeah not everybody can be funny that's just all i have to say about it now my thoughts on the spider-man films that we have seen overall i think this is one of the best live action spider-man films however this is not the best spider-man film spider-man into the spider-verse still reigns supreme i'm sorry in terms of story and overall things dealing with the multiverse and how they incorporated characters in this multiverse so yeah i think that again spider-man into the spider-verse is better in my opinion let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about that and actually this is a great start to the multiverse saga that's that's going to happen in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness and going forward and we actually saw a little bit of it in the last couple of episodes of Loki uh, but yeah I think this is a great chapter for what they're going to build on in the future but there is a certain film that's coming out next year another multiverse film that's coming out next year that's not in Marvel and I really hope that they honestly support this film because again both can do multiverse films i don't know what's the problem with it um you guys at some people act like you can't do multiverse films other studios can't do multiverse films like they did in the comics i don't understand that uh, but yes both can win at the same time it doesn't have to be a competition that's basically what i'm saying but that's my overall review or spider man let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about this film did you guys love it did you guys hate it and i'll see you guys soon for more videos peace